He used to be the main fly tie for Terry Charlton. If anyone remembers Terry Charlton? Yep. And he's still alive. Yep. yep. Which is... It proves the old saying that every day you spend fishing doesn't come off your life. <laughs> there you go, well, that must make him a good bloke. So, very simple fly this one. It's like everything I do, it's pretty simple. The tail is just um, quite short, fibres of a hackle, it doesn't really matter what colour, brown's probably good with this. But the main thing is that it's claret, and I call it the hatch breaker um, because it's one of those flies which will do two things for me. I can, I can give it some movement, but I can fish it static and I can do it all on the same cast. Sometimes with the, the possum emerger, particularly when you're guiding, you can give it a bit of movement, it sits quite low, and when you stop it, you can't see the bloody thing. Um, and sometimes when you're guiding, you can look at clients' flies all the time, but you can't 100% of the time. So just a very simple tail. The rib again is fine copper wire. Oops. Right. So, claret seals fur. And similar to the, um, the possum emerger, proportion is very important. So, dub that on. And the hook I'm using is that, did I say about the hook? It's the TMK 102Y, so we'll just stop that about there, I reckon. We'll wind our copper through. It's 11, size 11. Was size it? 11. Now, get rid of that. Right, so it's got a wing of possum. And we tie this, I tie this the same way that I tie the um, possum emerger wing. The only difference is I'll try and get the grey end of the tail rather than the black end. Don't know if there's any logical reason for that, it's just, it works. So you don't want it too thick, otherwise you're going to bolt the fly out too much. So time in by those. And again it's that twist. So you end up with just a really neat little wing bud like that, which is about halfway along the fly. Right. Now, this is one of those times where saddle hackle is good. Um, this is about as close as I've ever found to a claret saddle hackle. So if you, if you know the Barry Lodge Emerger, it's a fly which has got a, a hackle wound through the thorax. Mm. And that's basically what this fly does. So I'll tie that hackle in there. A couple of turns, not too many. And again, just a little bit of seals fur. And we'll just leave that there like that. And then it's just a couple of open turns. So it's a palmed thorax. So if you've done any more than three, it's probably too many. Three is probably a good number. That's going to float really well, isn't it? It'll float like a bloody cork. Shit. Is it handy? Um, but what it does do, it makes a nice scratch on the surface when you pull it. Mm. So good in the chop then? Yep. Put it anywhere, anywhere the trout are going chop chop, it's in there. There we go. 
How's that look? That looks excellent. That's awesome. It looks very fishy, doesn't it? No, I'd eat that. <laughs> <laughs>